Okay, welcome everybody. We are here with uh, Michael Hellickson. My name is Nathan Keebman, and you have been invited on behalf of Link Strategies Group, uh, the largest LinkedIn strategies group on LinkedIn. We really appreciate your time and uh, welcome your visit to this wonderful presentation of my good friend Michael, who's going to share quite a bit with us. But before he does, I want to introduce Michael because I think it's really powerful what he's done and why he's moved into this particular field. Michael um, and I met not too long ago at a, at a private mastermind group that we're a member of collectively. And um, in getting to know him, he just kept pulling out these really unique cards. It was just like, just like wow, no kidding. He's been on, on shows, um, all kinds of national television shows. He's been the number one. Thank you. There he is. He's been the number one real estate agent in the, in the country for uh, just under a year. And uh, there's some of the shows that he's been on and, and goes on and on. I know he'll tell you a little bit more about some of his successes. But I just wanted to uh, introduce Michael and uh, welcome you to this uh, webinar, Michael. Right on. Fantastic. Well, thank you for that, Nate. I appreciate that. And uh, can you hear me okay? Is everything going well? Sounds great. Yep. Perfect. All right. Well, good. Well, I'm just going to jump right into it. Uh, I know everybody that's on the webinar here today is busy. They probably all are running businesses of their own. And uh, I want to make sure that we uh, do this as efficiently as possible so you guys can uh, get for, get moving on with your day. Uh, you know, virtual assistance is a, is a big deal. And it, it has helped me to save thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars in my business. I found better talent. And uh, we're going to talk about not just virtual assistance, but team building overall. And I'm going to share with you a little bit about, you know, how I got to using virtual assistants in my business and why that transition happened. Um, but let me just start by giving you the, the real quick rags to riches to back to rags and back to riches story, if you will. Uh, you know, back in the day, or, you know, I tell people now that I'm a recovering real estate agent. So I used to be a real estate agent for about 20 years. And I actually started when I was selling real estate when I was in high school where I got a 2.23 grade point. Uh, so as you can tell, I wasn't a big believer in uh, homework. I was actually too busy out selling real estate uh, to, to feel like I wanted to do homework. So even though I got A's on all my tests, I, I just didn't quite uh, perform like a great student should. Well, that didn't stop me from going out and being uh, the top agent in my office before I graduated high school. And I'm saying that not to brag, but really it's a sad commentary on, you know, whether or not these agents in the office were doing very well. I mean, here, you know, the, you've got these agents been doing business for 10, 20, 30 years sometimes, and this high school kid's in there doing more business than they are. So kind of a sad commentary on, on the state of, of those agents as well. And in fact, my parents came to me at one point and they said, hey, Michael, uh, you've been doing this for two years. And you really ought to consider going and getting a job at McDonald's because you'd be making more money if you worked for McDonald's than you would selling real estate right now. And the scary part is they were right. And that hit me like a ton of bricks. So I decided it was time to get educated. And I know a lot of people on the event today are, are uh, big, probably big believers in educating yourselves and, and learning from a lot of the sharpest people in the world. That's Nate is obviously an example of someone that uh, – is absolutely well connected on LinkedIn and, and teaches people how to crush it on LinkedIn. And so hopefully you're taking advantage of his advice. Uh, well, I went to an expert in real estate at the time and I attended one of his seminars and he said something that hit me like a ton of bricks. He said to me, he says, if you don't have an assistant, you are one. And let me tell you, that stuck with me forever. I'm going to say that again. If you don't have an assistant, you are one. And what that means is if, if you don't have an assistant, you're doing all these tasks that an assistant should be doing. And that's a complete waste of your time if you're the rainmaker. So you need to make sure if you're going to leverage your time, really take your business to the next level, you've got to find the right people on your team. Well, you know, at 20 something years old or you know, barely 20 years old, I wasn't really sure how I was going to do that because I would have to pay an assistant more than I had ever made in a year at that point in time to bring somebody on. And guess what? That's exactly what I did. I took the risk. And I went out. I hired a terrific gal. And uh, she became my first assistant. And I, her, you know, her salary, again, for that year was going to be more than I'd ever made in a year. And I was nervous. But it was the best thing I ever did for a lot of reasons. One, she later became my wife, which uh, about four years later, I always tell people that's when I went to work for her, but uh, she's been, you know, really helped me grow my business. And so we've spent the next 15 years building up about 60 to 120 closed transactions a year. 
uh, you know, we're making good money, but we weren't really making enough to be ex excited and super happy about the business we were in. You know, during that period of time, we built up about a 42 property rental portfolio. Went out and bought the little McMansion like everybody else did, right? So we were pretty excited about that. Thought we were doing the right thing. And, uh, you know, everything was going great until it wasn't. And that was June of 2007. And anybody on the call that was in the real estate business at that time or the mortgage business would know that that's when the market collapsed and the money basically shut off. And I lost over $100,000 in commissions in that one month alone. It was crazy. And so uh, my rental properties were upside down. I had a $6,000 a month house payment. I had about $6,000 in the bank. I'm just a handful of unsellable listings. I mean, I was, I was doing what everybody else was doing. I made a lot of money, but I was spending at least as much as I was making. Uh, in fact, I think back at the time, I think the national average income was that Americans spending outpaced their income by 1.5% annually. It was crazy. Uh, which obviously led to the recession that we're in now. Well, I had to make a decision, and Tara and I had to make a decision. We sat down, and, and we had to decide, are we going to go big or are we going to go home? Are we going to really crush it in this business? Are we really going to take our business to the next level, or are we going to get into something different? Are we going to move on? And I'll tell you, that was a very tough decision to make. It took a lot of thought, a lot of prayer, a lot of, of pondering and, and introspection, and at the end of the day, we obviously decided, okay, we're going to go big. And to do that, we began building our team and growing a team of highly skilled people that would help us. Well, fast forward to September 2nd of 2010, so just under three years later. I'd been a real estate agent for about 20 years, had about 44 employees that were local employees working out of my office. So I had uh, four agents and about 40 uh, administrative staff members. And so, I, as you can imagine, I had a big payroll, too. My payroll every month was $125,000. Uh, and let me tell you, when you wake up every day and, ha and know that you've got to pay $125,000 out to your employees before you make a dime, uh, that's a pretty daunting prospect. And uh, so we had done very well, though. We closed about 470 transactions for the year so far. Had about 500 listings, 278 pending sales. So we were big. We were actually at the time uh, the number one agent in the country. And uh, we had closed uh, or, or made rather about $100,000 a month in net profits. And that was pr pretty typical. Our average month was about $100,000. But we had a couple of months and our biggest loss one month was $70,000. That's insane. Uh, especially when you're doing that kind of business, to, to wake up one day, look at your P&L, and say, wow, we lost $70,000 this month. <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's, uh, that's a tough pill to swallow. And let me tell you, that's when the light went on. I really started thinking about, okay, what the heck am I doing here? And I started talking to all my buddies that had big practices all over the country, all the top agents in the, in the nation, and uh, getting their opinions on, on what they thought. And uh, what we really determined was that all my buddies were using these virtual assistants, and I wasn't. I was used, I was hiring all local staff. And so I thought about that, and I thought, well, I'm, I'm a little skeptical. You know, do I really want to hire somebody from overseas? Do I really want to, you know, tr how am I going to communicate with them? How, you know, are they going to be able to do the work? Hey, you know, how, how are we going to make sure that they're working? Uh, you know, all these things. I had all these questions in my mind that I was really concerned about this. Uh, but I knew I had to do something different. I had because I, I couldn't keep doing it the way I was doing it. Because if I did, I was going to go broke, and, uh, and it just wasn't worth it. So I reluctantly I hired my first VA, and I got to tell you, it went great. So I, I hired a virtual assistant to work for one of my other staff members, uh, you know, handling a lot of the the tasks that maybe she didn't need to be doing, and he did a great job. And my, my assistant liked it so much, all of a sudden my wife and my office manager came to me and both asked me if I would get virtual assistants for them. And so we did. We went out, hired two more. And I got to tell you, the first one, uh, you know, so the second one we hired went great. The third one that we hired was a disaster. Absolutely the wrong fit for our team. Didn't like this person. They didn't do a good job. And uh, we fired them. But here's the interesting thing. 
And for any of you that have companies and you've got lots of people on your team now, you'll know what I'm talking about. When you fire somebody locally, there's some there's a ripple effect. There's there's some drama that can be associated with that because they've built relationships with all the people on your team. Uh, you know, a lot of times they know your spouse. You know, maybe they play bunko with your wife on the weekends. Who knows? And I gotta tell you, that didn't exist here, right? So it was really easy for me to let this person go. And I almost kind of felt like Donald Trump, right? You know, just kind of succinctly saying, "Yeah, you're fired." <laughs> you know. It wasn't quite that bad. I was a lot nicer about it than that. But at the end of the day, there was no emotional connection there. There was no, there was no concern of, oh my gosh, I can't let this person go. They've got this family they've got to feed, blah, 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 blah. At the end of the day, it was really easy to make a business decision. Uh, because this person was virtual, it was a lot easier to make that decision. So after that, I started looking around the office. You know, We hired a new person to replace that one, and the new one went great. And so now I've got three virtual assistants on my team. It's going really well, and we're looking around the office, thinking, "All right, I want everything that can go virtual is going virtual." And I started literally going through the office, job at a time. All my new positions became virtual assistants. Any attrition that I had, you know, if anybody left, you know, they quit, they got fired for whatever reason, uh, you know, anything like that happened, it automatically got replaced with the virtual assistant. And literally within just a few short months. I got rid of every single one of those local positions except for one, and I hired virtual assistants for those. And here's what happened. Our entire office became virtual. I was able to get rid of the actual office itself. The one person that continues to work for me today that's, that was on that team uh, back then, obviously we're in a different business now, right? So I don't even sell real estate anymore. All I do now is I am a virtual headhunter. So I help people like you find those virtual assistants all over the country. We find them, we interview them, we sort through, we call and we get the right person so that you don't have to. Uh, and we make sure that's a great fit and then we take the risk out of it for you. I'll talk about that in just a moment. Uh, we actually let you try them out for free and we're going to talk about that. Um, but interestingly, even the one that I had here locally now works from her home. And so literally every single person on my team is virtual. I saved, I went from $125,000 a month in payroll to less than $40,000 a month in payroll using virtual assistants. That's a savings of over 68% on payroll or over $85,000 a month that I could put in my pocket and not have to do another transaction, not have to sell another product, not have to bring another dollar in. That's straight line savings right there in my bottom line. And by the way, that's where the savings began. There was actually a ton more savings besides that. There was the savings on employees, the wages, the salaries, the employment taxes, the labor and industries, workers comp, the office chit chat. Here was a huge one. Office chit chat completely went away. And if you don't think that chit chat in the office is costing you money, it is. I promise you. It's absolutely a, a drain on your resources, a drain on your people, and, uh, and it does cost you a ton of money. And guess what? With that chit chat comes a lot of drama. Well, all of these things went away when I went virtual. I also saved, like I said, on the office expenses. You know, I was no longer paying for an office, so there was no lo more long-term lease, no more triple nets, no more insurance, no more telephone and internet, no more office equipment, computers, copiers, desks, chairs, cubicles, plants, toilet paper, you name it, all that stuff went away. I didn't have any of those expenses anymore, and my business was doing better than ever. I mean, you think about it, it's insane how much money you spend just to put one person in a building working for you. So it's so much less money to do that virtually. Well, let me tell you, here's the, the benefit. Here's the, here's, besides all the financial savings, here's the biggest thing that I got out of going virtual. I literally was able, and by the way, if you recognize that mountain in the background there, do me a favor, Ian, just in your little chat window, let's see if anybody can guess what mountain that is in the background. Uh, so on the right-hand side of your screen, there's a chat window. Just type it right in there. Uh, but I'll tell you that literally I took five weeks off with my family. Since I got everything virtual, I took five weeks. We went to Europe. So there's a big hint. Maybe that will help you guess what mountain that is. So we went to Europe for five weeks. And I didn't check an email, I didn't check a voicemail, I didn't connect with my office. I disconnected from the world for five weeks. It was the best trip of my life. We had the best time with our family, 
And uh, and yes, you are correct. Uh, I, that is the Matterhorn background there. And uh, I got to tell you, best thing I ever did for my family. You know, for those of you that work in a lot of hours that are that are putting in those ten and twelve hour days, keep in mind that no success in the world can compensate for failure in the home. And so, my biggest reason for going virtual was to help me. Uh, you know, it started off. The initial reason was to save money. The biggest reason and the biggest benefit was because it freed me up and allowed me to be with my family and be with them 100% when I'm with them. All right. So let's talk uh, about Nate's 40-hour gift to you. So we're going to talk in a moment about what virtual assistants do, but I want to tell you that Nate has given you, everybody on this call, 40 free hours of virtual assistant time. What that means is if you need somebody to be, you know, if you're, if you're ready to expand your team and you're ready to bring on a virtual assistant that will be with you for a long term, and not if you're just going to use somebody for a project or something like that, obviously, but if you can really see yourself having a virtual assistant as part of your team on a long-term basis, we're going to give you 40 free hours to test drive this person and see if it's really for you. And so we're, we're going to call you after this webinar. I'm going to make it really, really easy for you. We've required phone number for registration, so we've got your contact information. Someone on my office is going to call you, uh, and it's actually going to be one of my virtual assistants is going to call you and set up a, an, an appointment to talk with you and one of our uh, our relationship managers who is going to dig deep into your business and find out exactly what you need. Uh, then we're going to shoot you over a quick standard agreement. It's very, very simple. It just says that when we get this virtual assistant on, on board for you, that we're going to protect your confidentiality, we, we will respect your privacy, that the virtual assistant will not disclose any of your information to anybody, um, that you're not going to circumvent us uh, and try and hire that virtual assistant out from under us. And it also says right in the agreement, it's going to say very clearly that you can cancel at any time for any reason uh, with no penalty. You don't even need a reason. You can just cancel at any time. So then we're going to go out and we're going to search the entire world for you. Literally, we do a global search. We're going to find the VA that best matches the needs and the skill sets that you're looking for. That process usually takes about two weeks. Once we grab that right person, you're going to get to test drive them for free for 40 hours. So you can, again, see if this is the right person for your team. And if you love them, keep them. And we'll begin billing you after your 40-hour period. If you don't love them, no problem. We'll replace them for free. And we'll restart that 40-hour clock for you. Again, our, long, our goal here is to get the right long-term fit for your team. Nobody likes turnover on their team. You always want to get people that are going to be with you for five, ten years, you know, as long as possible, that are going to be loyal to you, that are going to work hard for you, that are going to be absolutely rock stars on your behalf. And, you know, VAs do. They come in all shapes and sizes. Their backgrounds vary. Their skill sets vary. Their pay range varies. Uh, you know, you can get data people that do data entry for, you know, seven bucks an hour all day long. They can do Craigslist posting and data entry and blogging and all that kind of stuff. Or if you want to get a really, really high-level executive assistant like Nate has, uh, you might want to go with somebody that's a, a little more skilled, and, and of course those folks cost a little bit more money. And also the English can vary as well. You can have somebody that speaks phenomenal English, maybe even perfect English, better than you. In fact, we just hired somebody today uh, that has a doctorate. This person speaks perfect English. They're actually an editor. They're going to be a, a book editor for a publishing house that we work with. It's an American publishing house, and they need pe people to edit these books and these manuscripts and things. And so we found this person abroad, and I mean, I'm in I'm almost embarrassed to even tell you how much this guy costs because with a doctorate, uh, believe it or not, this guy's like $15 an hour and he's got a doctorate. It's crazy. Um, and so, you know, in America, you'd pay, you know, 90 bucks an hour for this guy. And so, anyway, great stuff. You can get great resources for not a lot of money. So what can a virtual assistant do? Let's talk about that. A virtual assistant can do virtually anything that does not require physical presence in uh, uh, your location. They could be your bookkeeper. My bookkeeper happens to be in the Philippines, for example. And uh, you know, my wife takes all of our bills, all of our bank statements, all of our receipts, scans those in, emails them over to the virtual assistant uh, who is super skilled on QuickBooks and all that stuff. She enters all the stuff into our QuickBooks 
calls my wife up and says, Tara, put the checks in the printer and hit print. And that's what my wife does. It works fabulously. It's very streamlined. It's very easy. And uh, my books are always up to date. I can look at my P&L on a daily basis if I want, and I know that it's accurate. And uh, I don't have to worry about somebody that's local. I've actually had a local person uh, steal from me when they were working as a bookkeeper because they had access to the paper checks and they were able to write checks and all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm a lot more secure when I'm using a bookkeeper overseas. I don't have to worry about those things. All right, receptionist, huge, very, very powerful. Telemarketers and appointment setters. Uh, I actually have in my office a couple of people who their entire job is to set appointments for my sales guys. I have one that just sets appointments for me. And that's huge. So literally all day long, my sales guys and I, we have appointments, one appointment after the next all day, every day. And we never have to worry about when that next appointment is. And by the way, you can get phone systems for as little as, in fact, you can get a free phone systems that will allow your VA. Uh, you know, you can use like iCall.com uh, is a great one that you can use for free that allows your VA to call from wherever they are to wherever they want all over the country, voice over internet protocol, VoIP. Uh, and again, that's free. Or if you want them to have a prefix, let's say you wanted that you're in California and you wanted them to have a 949 prefix, or maybe you're in Seattle and you wanted them to have a 206 prefix. Well, no problem. You can do that for as little as 40 bucks a month, uh, so that when they call people, that number will show up on their caller ID. Pretty cool stuff. VAs do, of course, search engine optimization, blogging, website design and development. Client care coordinator, this is a very important position. Somebody to make sure your clients are happy all the time. This is very important. Customer satisfaction is, in today's world, one of the most important things you can have. Research, uh, I had a friend once that uh, puts on big events. He does events for you know five to 6,000 people uh, once a year. And uh, he wanted to know about piping different smells into that event. And uh, is that possible? And if so, how would you do it? And so, uh, you know, I was trying to win him over as a client at this point. And so I had one of my virtual assistants, my executive assistant, who's been with me for many years. Uh, actually, she was the second person I hired uh, as a virtual assistant. Uh, and she absolutely is phenomenal. I told her, I said, you've got two hours. Do a research, do some research on this topic, on aroma marketing. And uh, in hours, she produced a report emailed it over to me, I forwarded it to the client. When the client saw that, wow, I can actually make the room smell like cookies or like lavender or like whatever I want to create a different buying atmosphere or a relaxed atmosphere in this commercial setting, uh, he was blown away by it. And be, he was so blown away that he became a believer in using virtual assistants and has since become a client. All right, so let's talk about the truth about virtual assistants. You know, a lot of people think that they can't speak, you know, that they don't speak good English, and that's just not true. A lot of them speak very good English. Uh, there's a stereotype out there that says they're all from the Philippines or India. Well, that's not true either. I mean, I hired somebody two weeks ago from South Africa. We've hired people from Sweden. We've hired people from Eastern Europe. Uh, from we, we do hire people from the Philippines. Uh, to be honest, we avoid India for the most part. Uh, we've had some bad experiences uh, with cultural issues uh, in India that have affected work performance uh, you know, for their clients here. Uh, there ha we have had a few people in India that have done well for us, but long story short, VAs come from all over the world. And VAs do not require more management than local staff. In fact, oftentimes they require less. And the reason is virtual assistants are used to working on you know, a, a plan and working on a system. And they also provide great reporting. One of the things I do with my virtual assistant is I want to get an end of day report every single day. And that end of day report, I'm going to see exactly what that assistant has done broken down by hours throughout the day. Now, we can also help you out. There's some software out there, some internet-based software out there that you can literally screen peek on what your VA is doing. And this software is available for as little as 10 bucks a month. So it makes it very, very easy to watch what your VA is doing, to monitor them if you feel the need to do so. I'll be honest with you, though. We go out of our way to hire people that don't require that level of management. Uh, we really work, work very hard at finding people who are self-managing uh, self and self-starters uh, so that they're going to be more of an asset. Because uh, my opinion has always been, if I have to manage you at that level, I don't need you. 
you know, what I want to find here, I want to be hiring people that are going to go out there, they're going to treat it like it's their own business, and they're going to work very, very hard on my behalf. And that's what you should expect, too. Uh, and by the way, their work ethic is often superior to the work uh, ethic that you find locally. Uh, and I got to tell you, I've, I've hired a lot of people, uh, both locally and abroad, and by and large, I have had much better success with my folks abroad than I have locally. All right, so hey, Nate, are you with us there? Can, are you still with us? I am, bud. Yep. I, there you go. I thought maybe I had you uh, maybe I had you uh, muted out. Nate, can I maybe just have you read this testimonial for me real quick? This is Ken Kellerman. He owns uh, Sales Advantage Group in uh, California. Nate, could you just read that for us? Uh, sure. My virtual assistant is terrific. She saves me money, does a fantastic job, and is invaluable to my business. The process of hiring through virtual assistant staffing was easy, fast, and efficient. With the free trial, I knew I had nothing to lose. I highly recommend this service. Yeah, so Ken, Ken has been with us for a very long time. He's got a wonderful assistant, and uh, there's, you know, I can't imagine uh, what his world would be like if he didn't have that virtual assistant. In fact, I think Ken's getting ready to hire some more from us uh, as we speak. Nate, maybe you could speak a little bit to what you use your virtual assistant for. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, um, we hired a virtual assistant a little, uh, I think it was about two months now, right? Um, and we started using her for our blog, our SEO. Ended up uh, being pleasantly surprised. What we were looking for was just somebody that could help uh, develop our SEO on our blog. And uh, what we ended up getting was somebody that not only could do that, but she was able to do video editing, graphic design, uh, all sorts of stuff that was really, really valuable and has made our lives infinitely faster, more efficient, and easier for us to roll out content and uh, just develop our overall presence. I mean, our YouTube went from you know a few choppy uh, you know cut up videos that I did to over 20 videos now, and we just launched a, a great LinkedIn statistics video, and um, we have you know great blog posts coming out on uh, you know every day, every couple of days now, and. Um, that uh, that she preps for me, and then I write, and then we get you know with nice designs, and it looks you know graphically appealing and so forth. So not only are we getting the SEO and the value, but we're getting all the other benefits uh, that she was able to bring with her talent set, and she's and she's continually actually bringing us new ideas of things that she can do to improve, and uh, absolutely love it. It's been it's been <laughs> I would I would I'll I'll never fire her. I'll never let her go. I'll do whatever it takes to keep her. It makes my life that much easier. So, and, and let me ask you this, Nate. Originally, when we got when we got her for you, did you think that she was going to be that good? I had no idea what to really think. Um, I was hoping for somebody that could just get us, you know, uh, double, triple, quadruple our our, our um, SEO rankings. <clears throat> you know, move from hundreds of views a day to you know several hundreds of views or thousands of views a day. And um, and uh, you know, it was we were getting that, but we're also and getting so much more, so I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah, and I think that's the experience most people have. You know, when you've got that right person, you'll find that it's going to be pleasantly surprising how much more they can do than you originally thought. Uh, and so, and that's and that's indicative of hey, we found the right person. And just like Nate said, the goal here is let's get you with a person that you're going to have for five, ten, fifteen years working on your team. You know, somebody that's going to be with you for a long period of time. And become invaluable to your business at an affordable price. So, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. And and by the way, that's another thing, Nate. Before I move on to more of these things that VAs can do, you know, did did you find that? I mean, if you had to hire somebody locally to do that, how, wouldn't it be just enormously more expensive? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> each graphic that we do is, ends up being like you know fifty to a hundred bucks, and then we do each video production that we do ends up being you know, five hundred dollars at a minimum, and uh, I mean, we just rolled out. You know, figure we rolled out twenty videos in the last two months. Five hundred bucks—that's ten thousand dollars of cost. If I were to have hired that out just on the videos, it's not SEO, which is going to be between five hundred bucks to two thousand dollars a month. And then we're looking at, um, you know, on the graphic side, you know, each graphic, every every blog post we do, and we've done now uh, since she started over nineteen different blog posts. Each blog post graphic is going to cost us, you know, say it's fifty bucks. That's another, you know, several thousand dollars there, so or a couple thousand bucks. So, you know, we're we're really um, that's why I say it's infinitely more efficient because it takes away the issue of 
cost. You know, I don't, I'm not going to do that content piece because it's going to cost me too much. And then, um, you know, and the other thing that we did is, uh, you know, to create blog posts and to do them in the volumes that some, you know, our blog needs and requires takes a lot of research. And so, you know, we employ her to do research and we, we guide her strategically and show her where we want her to go. But she's able to then source content for us, prep it, and then I'm able to put my touch to it so that it, you know, it, it's our voice and it's, it's what we want to put out there. So, yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, can't, I can't speak highly enough about it, Michael. It's unbelievable. <laughs> That's huge. I love it. And so it sounds like what you're saying is you saved, you know, well over ten grand just in the two months you've had her. Yeah. Uh, by using her instead of instead of hiring locally for those different things you would have done. Mm hmm Absolutely. Yeah. That's huge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. That's gigantic. I mean, 10 grand savings. and I mean, that's five grand a month you save just on one position. So that's huge. Well, you know, obviously they can do data entry, answering phones, managing your client relationship management software, checking and handling your emails and voicemails. This is a big one. You know, everybody, we all get all kinds of emails and voicemails every day. And a lot of them do need to be responded to by us. A lot of it is junk, and that just needs to go away. And then there's that stuff in between that, you know, it needs to be responded to, but maybe somebody else on your team could respond to it instead of you. And that's a great job for your virtual assistant because now the email gets responded to, so the person on the other end is taken care of, but it didn't have to be you. And sometimes they can even respond in your voice if necessary. But at the end of the day, your time needs to be focused on those things that you and you alone can and need to do. Uh, you know, again, you really want to focus on working on your business and not just in your business. You know, managing your calendar is huge. Setting your appointments, doing all your airfare, hotel, uh, making sure that you're where you need to be on time, all that kind of stuff. Being your gatekeeper, keeping uh, you know, again, those voicemails and emails from bogging down your day. You know, you could even have a virtual assistant call you up every morning and program your brain for success. So instead of waking up and hearing, you know, hey, honey, take the garbage out. You know, you're waking up and hearing. Man, Nate, you're going to crush it today. You know, go out there and just make it happen today. I know you can do it. I have confidence in you, and I'm looking forward to a great, another great day working with you. How cool would that be? Uh, how about this? What if you wanted to have your, your son or daughter learn how to play piano over Skype? Well, I could do that. I can find you somebody. Maybe we find a classical pianist out of Romania or who knows where, and we can have them teach your kids over Skype how to play piano for a fraction of what it would cost to drive them down the street and take them to a lesson. Not, not to mention the fact that now you're saving that half-hour drive there and the half-hour drive back and the hour you got to wait while they're at the lesson. Instead, they can be in the safety and the comfort of your own home learning how to play whatever instrument it is they want to play or learning a language or, or being tutored in math or whatever it is they need. So all kinds of cool stuff you can do. My VA actually taught, uh, one of my VAs actually taught my kids how to post videos to YouTube the other day. It's awesome. Now, a lot of you probably go to uh, events, networking events and, and, you know, seminars and stuff, and you meet people. But what happens when we meet these people at events? We come home with a bunch of cards, and where do they go? They go on our desk, or they go in the garbage. You ever have that happen, Nate? I put you on mute because there's noise around me. Um, <laughs> There yeah, you go. Yeah, absolutely. No worries. Well, and and so what do you, what have you done? I mean, do you, do you have you have you solved this yet, or am I just gonna have to solve it for you right here? Solve it for me, buddy. All right, here you go, man. All you gotta do is when you get when you're done with that event, before you head to the airport, run down to the front desk. You know, chuck you know, throw away the cards of the people that you don't want to follow up with, obviously, but the ones that you do want to follow up with, give them to the people at the front desk there, and say, hey, scan me these these business cards and email them to me. And then you take that email and you just forward it to your virtual assistant. Huh. Your virtual assistant then inputs them all into the computer. And I, what I do is one of mine inputs them, and another one calls them all and sets appointments with me. <laughs> how cool is that? That's awesome. Oh, my gosh. You know how many events I've been to? <laughs> I wish I'd add that. I'm afraid to ask. I'll bet you've got... I'll bet you if I had to guess, Nate, you've got over a thousand business cards of people that you met at events that you would have liked to have followed up with that you probably haven't. That's probably about right, yeah. Pretty close. I'd say that's I'd say <laughs> that's pretty common. And so but that's huge. I mean imagine now you can actually have appointments with all those people and you never know where that's gonna lead. And guess what? You'll probably be the only one that ends up following up with them after the event because nobody else is doing this. Yeah, that's true. 
So, and that's how you get that full schedule every day. I love having a full schedule every day, by the way. Um, all right, Nate, 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 could you read this one for us here? This is Janet Hegseth. She's a, a real estate agent for Keller Williams in Kent, Washington, actually real close to me here. She's got a VA now, and she's getting ready to hire two more. Maybe you could just read that for us. Sure. Uh, the addition of our VA to our team has been a business-changing experience for us. Our on-site staff no longer has their days consumed with data entry or spending hours on Craigslist. We're able to implement effective systems and focus on money-making tasks. At this point in our business, we couldn't do it without our VA. Pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. So, perfect example. All right, so how do we eliminate excuses for failure? Well, one, you've got to understand that rainmakers, you know, the, the, the person leading the team generally, suffer oftentimes from what we call the nobody can do it better than me syndrome. And, you know, that's very common. you got to get over that, though. you got to understand that even if that were true, which nine times out of ten it's not, but even if it were true, and even if you were just, you know, this rock star that's that much better than everybody else around you, well, okay, because if you could only find people that can do things 80% as good as you can, but now you can stack a team of these 80% people that are going to go in there and get this stuff done for you. You've leveraged your time now. And you've made it possible to build and grow a team that's going to grow with you, that's going to, that's going to help your business grow, that's going to put money in your pocket while you sleep. Uh, and by the way, these folks will work your hours. And when you're hiring a virtual assistant, you know, they'll work your time zone. So you don't have to, you don't have to worry about them you know, not being accessible during the day. Now, alternatively, if you want, they can also work overnight. So if you want them working while you're sleeping, they can do that. And that would be daytime, their time a lot of times. Or if you want them to work while you're working as well, that's that's possible as well. And that's actually generally how it's done. In fact, Nate, your your VA works your your normal business hours in your time zone, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so it's important to define the responsibilities, train them, provide ongoing, clear communication. Uh, one of the things we use is Jing or Screencast to create short videos of each process that we then hand over to our VA, and uh, we just email them to the VA, and they can watch. They they can watch the video. It's free, by the way. Jing, Screencast, Camtasia. You can. Jing is my favorite. It's really easy to use. Uh, if you go online and just Google J I N G, you can download that. Again, it's a free product. They'll let you do three to five minute videos for free. Uh, and it records everything you're doing on your screen and the audio that you, you know, so you speak into your microphone as you're, as you're doing stuff on your screen. It's just an easy, easy way to train people. And then if your VA has questions, they can Skype you to discuss it. Uh, we also use Dropbox to share files. And so again, those are all free resources. Uh, and training is critical. You are going to get out of your team what you put into them. If you want ninjas, Train them to be ninjas. You know, if you want people that are going to be just okay, well, then don't provide them with any training. But I'll tell you, when you take the time to train people, and this is hard, you know, because we're all busy and and we all feel like, oh gosh, I don't have time to train anybody. And well, let me tell you, if you're if you're going through that, you need to do this even more because until you train somebody to take that workload off, you you're never going to free up that time. So you're caught like a hamster in a wheel. You've got to take the time to train great people to do the things that you need done so that you can move forward. Motivating them, holding them accountable with that daily accomplishment report we talked about. We do a daily huddle with our team. Uh, we get the entire team together on Skype every morning, talk about yesterday's accomplishments, today's goals, tasks, potential challenges or roadblocks that might keep us from, from accomplishing those things. I like to motivate, inspire, and direct the efforts of my troops on that call. And uh, now, what about this? Let's say you get a VA, but you need a little help. I mean, obviously, you've got your relationship manager in our office, and these are kind of our sales guys, right, that would be there for you, and they're going to be answering those questions, and they're motivated to make sure that this is a good long-term fit for you as well, because they don't get paid unless you're happy. And so it's very, very important for them to know that you're happy with this person, and if you're not happy, they're going to help you get a new VA right away. We're also going to give you what's called a quality assurance representative. Now this person is going to check every assignment you send to your new VA every two weeks, or you know, for that first two weeks. And they're going to offer assistance to your VA if they need any assistance. They're going to watch for signs of tension to see, you know, make sure that relationship is going well between you and your VA. And they're going to notify your relationship manager if there's any challenges that happen to come up. And again, this allows us to really make sure this is working well for you. So again, here's how it's going to work. 
when we're done here, I'm going to give you a chance just before we go into questions here. I'm going to I'm going to take questions in just a moment. And by the way, as you have questions, type them into that right hand side of your screen in the chat box there. We'll make sure we get those all answered. You can also raise your hand. You'll see a raise hand button on the right hand side. And if you want to raise your hand to ask questions, I can call on you and uh, go over your questions at that time as well. All right. So we're going to have somebody contact you, and we're going to get you that. We're, we're, we're going to get you set up with your 40 hours of free virtual assistant time to test drive this process. Now, I can't guarantee that the first place that I make for you is going to be perfect. But I can absolutely guarantee you that you will never, ever, ever pay us a dime until and unless you are 100% absolutely happy. I will always take 100% of the risk so that you don't have to. Remember, my goal is to provide you with the right VA, take the administrative and sales tasks off your desk, help you focus on money generating activities, and develop a long-term relationship with you and with your team. By doing this, you're going to become a raving fan, and you're going to refer us to everybody you know. And by the way, here's another great feature. When you refer us to people that hire a virtual assistant through us, we're, we believe that you should be rewarded for that. And so we're going to go ahead and pay you 10% of every dollar that we collect from everyone that you refer to us. And everybody they refer, we're going to give you another 5% on the people that they refer. So pretty lucrative referral program and uh, it's really just our way of saying thanks and, and it helps us and it makes sense for us because it saves us from having to go out and spend money on advertising which we don't you know virtually all of our business comes from referrals so all right so let's go to some questions and by the way there's a little website uh, it's kind of a crazy link but uh, it's bit.ly forward slash four zero v a h o u r s free so 40 VA hours free, bit.ly forward slash 40 VA hours for free. You can check out more information there. In the meantime, let's, uh, let's see if we've got any questions. And Nate, maybe if you had some questions too, you can jump in and while we're waiting for folks to uh, type in their questions over chat and or raise their hands. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, so, you know, when, when I started looking and considering to do a VA, I was a bit hesitant. And... Well, the reason I was hesitant was, you know, it, it's a big unknown. And the reason I ended up doing it is, you know, kind of twofold. One, Michael took the risk out of test driving a VA, meaning that he did the hard work, which was finding the right person, uh, sourcing them, and then guaranteeing that, you know, look, you're not going to pay anything until you're happy with the person that you're working with. And when we started working with, um, with our VA, we, you know, we got in and, and I, I realized that, and Michael had said, shared with me, the VA is only going to be as good as the direction and support I give the VA on a daily on a daily basis or on a you know ongoing basis. And so we really outlined our expectations in way of um, you know what do we expect to see daily you know and we have our you know daily report and we have daily actions and activities and um, you know and outside of that then there's the free time to do the other stuff and um, by doing that we've been able to really accelerate the success that we've had and it's been and been quite quite good for us so i'd really encourage anybody that's attending uh, to go you know go to the site you know sign up for a free you know 40 hours and, and test drive it see if it makes sense for your business and you know you don't have to do it for just blogging or uh, seo stuff or online digital things it could be for all sorts of different things that michael's outlined all sorts of different reasons that you could use a va for um, and if you're you're doing something now and you're you're kind of like paying for it every once in a while on a project basis, you'll probably spend the same amount on a full time basis and accelerate your results uh, for the same price that you're doing on a temporary basis now. So uh, there's lots of different opportunities, but uh, that's I mean some of my comments anyway, Michael. Anything else? Very cool. No, that's awesome. And by the way, uh, I don't have access to the screen that shows uh, the comments and questions. And so if you have uh, if you've got any questions or comments from anybody on the webinar that you want to ask me now that would be fine uh, but yeah I mean you're absolutely right about that you know you really the more you put into this person the more you're going to get out of them and the more valuable they're going to be come to you long term and eventually it'll get to a point where you're not giving them any direction and you're not needing to interact with them that much because they're going to know your business better than you do and they're just going to know what needs to be done they're going to get they're going to go get it done and, they're going to, and you're going to be calling them and saying hey Where's this file? At? How do I find this? Or how do I do that? Or what? You know, you're going to be asking them questions. And they're going to be asking you. 
Have you have you noticed that? Uh, yeah, I, I just oh, I, my my life is very uh, efficient with the VA. I, I just pop an email and she's very attentive. And you know, like I'll do like a graphic. Hey, I need a graphic for this. I think you know, and normally that's going to take like a day. We'll get back to you. I have it back in my inbox in thirty minutes. I'm like, holy smokes, um, it, it's it's really efficient. Uh, and then I'm I'm turning, you know. So I just I try to do less and make sure that I'm being intelligent about how I use my time and leveraging, you know, if, if somebody else on my team can do it, I want to use them for it. Um, we have a couple questions that came in, Michael. Uh, one is uh, from Ken. Ken asks, uh, what confirms the capabilities of individuals performing VA work, for example, bookkeeper? Yeah, what confirms them? Well, we put them through an interview process. So when we hire these people, we actually go through between two and 400 resumes uh, and then we voice to voice interview between 20 and 30 people for each position. Uh, a lot of times, it depends on also if you're looking for someone full time or part time or, or for just 10 hours a week, you know, whether it's 10, 20, or 40 hours a week. Uh, you know, if, if you're looking for somebody for 10 hours a week, the chances are that we already have somebody that's working with another client that would take you on for that 10 hours a week. And so we already know what their capabilities are. When you're looking for full time people, we just put them through a really rigorous interview and vetting process and uh, and then we of course give you that 40 hours for free so that you can test drive them and if they turn out not to be the best fit well great then you know what we'll kick them to the curb we'll get you a different one and uh, and we'll do that as many times as necessary to make sure we get you that proper fit mm -hmm. a couple more questions here uh, and that actually you answered one of the questions is uh, it, from Avi she says is it possible to have a part-time VA can, can you outline like what are kind of your blocks? Do you do it in blocks or what's the criteria there? It's like hiring somebody on a salary basis. You know, the difference is that you pay our company and then we pay the VA because there's a lot of there's a lot of nuances and in, in in sending money overseas and all that kind of stuff. So we take care of all that and all that, you know reporting and all those kinds of things that need to happen. Um, and so ultimately, it's you know you're you're going to hire them for either ten hours a week or 20 hours a week, or 40 hours a week. We're not a project company, we're a placement agency, and so our job is find you that person that's gonna be with you long term. And so, pretty, pretty common that people will start off with, you know, 10 or 20 hours a week and then move up to 40, but I'll tell you, more often than not, when people start off with a 10 or a 20 hour a week VA, more often than not, they're going to want to move up because they're going to, you know, they're going to, when they engage them and they find out how much they can do and how much they can take off their plate and how valuable they are, mm -hmm. it, it just makes sense. And by the way, your rate goes down, so it's cheaper by the hour if you have them working for you full time than it is if they're working part time or quarter time. It makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Um, Neil asks, um, did you say that VAs can make sales hunter calls? Absolutely, yes. So there's there's two different types of telemarketers. Well, there's really three. There's executive assistants that are going to call your warrant, you know, your clients and your warm leads and just set appointments for you to talk to people. There's appointment setters who are going to call, on, you know, the, all they're going to do. And by the way, the executive assistant would be more administratively driven with the ability to make those calls. Then there's like a let's say you want to have a telemarketer that just is an appointment setter. And that appointment setter is going to all day long, they're just going to hammer the phones and set appointments for your salespeople. Then there's actual salespeople or telemarketers who are going to be actual closers. And all of those things we can absolutely get to virtually. Wow. That's awesome. Yeah. I didn't, I didn't know that, actually. Thanks for that one, uh, Neil. You just cost me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me rephrase actually, that. You made me a lot of money. <laughs> I was just going to say, I think you made you a lot of money because now you're going to actually get those sales calls done that you should have been doing all these years that you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be calling Bob from 10 years ago. Hey, you remember Nate? <laughs> <laughs> all right, good. Um, all right, Brandon asks, uh, I was called out and uh, missed much of this webinar. Is there a replay or follow-up webinar that I can attend? Uh, Brandon, we'll make this uh, replay available on the blog, and we'll also, as a registrant, we'll send you a replay link that you can watch um, by just clicking the link, and it will upload to uh, uh, Windows Media Player. I'm not sure that works for Mac, so you may have to wait till we get it up on, live on the blog if you have a Mac, but we'll try it out. Um, okay, cool. Any other questions from anybody attending? Any questions? Uh, All right, good. 
Um, Looks like, yeah. I Look. like I like it when we can uh, get these folks out of there early because you know you, you sign up for a webinar and you know that you're gonna have to block out an hour of time to to be on the webinar. But boy, it sure is nice when you can get that extra ten minutes to go catch up on your busy work and those types of things, so that you're uh, more prepared when you do get that VA on board. It, it is. And, and you know, Michael, uh, everybody that has attended, they've been, um, they've also uh, been redirected, and you have the opportunity to look at the um, the page, the enrollment page. This link will take you to that enrollment page as well. Everybody, uh, the uh, the bit.ly forward slash forty va hours uh, free. It's a little complicated there. We'll send out a follow up email with the replay link and also with this link involved for those of you that um, uh, are like listening but not watching. Uh, so, anyhow, I think that's pretty good. Michael, any final comments you'd like to end with? Nah, Nate, I just appreciate you uh, letting me uh, be on your webinar today, and I uh, appreciate everybody that took an hour out of their busy days to uh, to be here and to, to listen and participate. And uh, I look forward to working with you all and uh, help you build and grow your business so you guys can take back your time and get your financial and time freedom back. So I'm, uh, I'm excited about that. Let's make oh, it happen. Hey, hey uh, Michael, I, I apologize, but there was a really good question that came in here last second I think we should ask answer. Yeah. Which was, uh, what are the basic kind of final cost of working with a VA? The, the basic cost is going to be dependent on what type of VA you hire and how long you want that, you know, how many hours a week you want them working for you. So things like data entry and those types of things, they could be like seven bucks an hour and I'm giving you the full time rate numbers. Uh, let's say you want a really high level executive assistant and uh, Nate, I don't remember what level yours is. Do you, uh, do you remember off the top of Yours, right. yours is a tier four. Yeah. So you know, at a tier four, let's see, seven, nine, 11, 13. So you'd be at about thirteen dollars an hour for a full time tier four, um, and that's a very, very capable person. And Nate, you kind of walked you through all the things that the, she's doing for him. Um, you know, and it, ultimately the sky's the limit. I mean, if you want a Disney cartoonist or somebody that can literally create full motion animated videos for you uh, on whatever you want, uh, you know, they're a lot more money, but you know, there's so there's this huge range, and that's why we want to get on the phone with you and really understand what you need and want, so that we can then, and we'll tell you that right then, we'll say, okay, well, you know, this is what we think that's going to cost, um, and then you'll always know that what that's going to cost before this person's ever placed with you. Uh, but we that having that conversation, really understanding and getting into your head and understanding what you need that person for, is going to make that determination. That's awesome. Yeah, great. Okay, so um, that is it for questions for today. There will be the replay is uh, what we make available from the webinar, and again, that will be on the blog, and you guys will get a notification from GoToMeeting about the, uh, the, the replay link as well if you're not watching this live on the, on the blog site itself. So, Michael, thank you for your time, and for everybody, uh, make sure you go get your, your hours uh, signed up and you uh, get on with uh, Michael's team and get – get to testing out one of these VAs because I, I know that this is going to help your business. It's helped mine. This is why I wanted to share Michael and his great, uh, his great business with everybody here because I know that we're all trying to uh, get things done more efficiently on a day-to-day -day basis in, uh, in a challenging economy and uh, everything we can do to save money and uh, make more money and save time is going to help. So uh, with that, uh, Michael, thank you and uh, you have a great day. All right. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks, Nate. Thanks, guys. Bye.